welcome you for joining me at this communion table today. Friends, this is the joyful feast of the people of God. They will come from the east and the west and from the north and the south and sit at the table in the kingdom of God. According to Luke, when our risen Lord was at the table with his disciples, he took the bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them. Then their eyes were opened and they recognized him. This is the Lord's table. Our Savior invites those who trust him to share the feast which he has been prepared. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is truly right and our greatest joy to give you thanks and praise eternal God, our creator. You have given us life and second birth in your spirit. Once we were no people, but now we are your people. You claimed Israel as your chosen nation and raised up the church as a witness to the resurrection, breathing into it your life and power. From worlds apart, you gathered us together. When we go astray, you welcome us home. Always, your love has been steadfast, and blessed is Jesus Christ, your Son, our God. In love with you and in compassion for all, Jesus healed and taught, challenged and comforted, welcomed and saved. He formed a community, promising to be with his disciples whenever two or three were gathered and sending them on his mission of hope and healing in the world. Jesus trusted his life to you and went freely to his death so that the world might be set free from suffering and from sin. You raised him from death and raised us also to new life without him. In the power of the Holy Spirit, you send us out to make disciples as he commanded. Remembering all your mighty and merciful acts, you have given us to celebrate with the joy, the redemption won for us in Jesus Christ. Accept this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving as a living and holy offering of ourselves. And upon these gifts of bread and wine, that the bread we make break and the cup we bless may the, be the communion of the body and the blood of Christ. By your spirit, unite us with the living Christ and with all who are baptized in his name, that we may be one in the ministry in every place. As this bread is Christ's body for us, send us out to be the body of Christ in the world. O oh God, today you have called us together to be the church. Unite us now at your table and in one loaf, and in one common cup, make us in Christ Jesus. Let your spirit empower the life we share and ignite our witness in the world. With all who have gone before us, keep us faithful to the gospel teachings and fellowship, to the breaking of the bread and the prayers. Give us the strength to serve you until the promised day of resurrection when with the redeemed of all the ages, we will feast at your table in glory. Through Christ, all glory and honor are yours, almighty God, with the Holy Spirit in the Holy Church, now and forever. As Christ, our Savior, taught us, we are bold to pray the words that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The Lord Jesus on the night of his arrest took bread and after giving thanks to God, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup 
saying, This cup is the new covenant sealed in my blood, shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this in remembrance of me. Every time you eat this bread and drink this cup, proclaim the saving death of the risen Lord until he comes again. This is the body of Christ. Take and eat. This is the blood of Christ. Take and drink. Let us pray. Gracious God, may we who have received this sacrament live in the unity of your Holy Spirit, that we may show forth your gifts to all the world. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go now in peace. Walk in peace with Jesus Christ. Let the Holy Spirit be upon you today and every day. Amen.